Well, today a federal judge ruled the doctor accused of poisoning 11 patients at the surgical center where he worked will remain in custody while he awaits trial. His name is Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz and his defense team had filed a motion to the judge to reconsider his detention and allow him out on bail. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live with what was revealed today. Lori. Steve, today a colleague who used to work with Dr. Ortiz at Dallas Regional Medical Center in Mesquite described him as retaliatory and aggressive. He said he was written up 30 times in three years. Dr. Ortiz's defense team tried to downplay the severity of those incidents, pointing out that they did not result in his suspension. Prosecutors argued their video evidence of Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz placing IV bags into a warmer again and again at Baylor Scott and White Surgicare North Dallas does not leave any room for doubt about what he did. Prosecutors say 11 patients suffered cardiac emergencies and Dr. Melanie Kaspar was killed as a result of Dr. Ortiz inserting dangerous drugs into the bags. Prosecutors wrote in a motion filed this week. The defense incorrectly attempts to downplay the government's case as built on inferences, but this ignores the fact that Dr. Ortiz was caught red handed on video inexplicably placing IV bags in the facility's warmer minutes before nurses took bags out of the exact same location and then patients who were administered those bags experienced severe medical emergencies a short time after that. In a previous news interview from jail, Dr. Ortiz claimed there was no video of him getting the drugs in question out of a medicine cabinet. Friday, prosecutors played a video they say supports their claim. In the interview, Ortiz also tried to blame another doctor at the facility for the poisonings. But prosecutors said the doctor he mentioned did not place IV bags in the warmer. For the first time in this case, we also heard from a former co-worker of Dr. Ortiz. Jeremy Johnston, the former director of surgery at Dallas Regional Medical Center in Mesquite, testified that Dr. Ortiz had 30 complaints against him at the hospital. Johnston testified about one incident when Dr. Ortiz arrived late to a surgery and then yelled at him and physically confronted him in front of a patient. The defense questioned the severity of Dr. Ortiz's previous incidents since he was allowed to continue work at the hospital. In the end, the judge ruled that there was clear and convincing evidence that Dr. Ortiz would be a danger to coworkers and witnesses and also a flight risk if he were released. And in arguing that he could be a flight risk, prosecutors outlined some unusual financial transactions at two businesses Dr. Ortiz owns, Garland Anesthesia Consultants and Regional Medical Billing. 